Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, thank you for watching some of my videos. Um, please leave a comment uh, in my videos. Um, I do read my comments and I do respond to them if there are questions asked or any suggestions asked. Um, today's topic, as you can see from the logo that's on there, um, at Formula One, it's that time of the season basically. Next Sunday, this Sunday is Formula One. Um, and of course, coinciding with the time of the release of Netflix's uh, Drive to Survive Season 5. Um, now, of course, one of the big things that you've noticed uh, if you watch the series, uh, you know, like uh, Vettel retired. And because Vettel retired, there was a f f flurry or slew of musical chairs at that point to the point where, like, Ricardo, Daniel Ricardo, was ousted from McLaren. Now he's a reserve driver for back with Red Bull. He's a, he's back with Red Bull, but as a as a reserve driver now. Unless Sergio or Checo goes under, you know, like has an issue or something like that, or they just had to let go Checo go. I don't see, uh, yeah, I don't see Daniel coming back. To be in front of us, uh, another thing, of course, is the fact that uh, you know Pierre Gasly uh, left uh, AlphaTauri to go to Alpine, and of course uh, because uh, Vettel left Aston Martin. Fernando Alonso left Alpine to go to Aston Martin, uh, and that left basically Alpha Tori to figure out something. And so they got Nick DeVries, and of course uh, an up and coming uh, um, rising star practically. But of course in this situation with McLaren, one of the big things is is because if you saw uh, Formula uh, Drive to Survive season five, you saw that um, when Alonso switched over to uh, to uh, Aston Martin, uh, Alpine basically is like, oh, you know what? Fine, we'll promote Oscar Piastri. He's definitely someone that everyone's been looking at for quite a while, actually. Even Red Bull, um, to the point where like they were like looking to Christian was Horner was pretty much ready to bring him on Red Bull if they had room in there or something like that, but they don't. Uh, so Piastri fails, he's ready. McLaren's there, so like now it's going to come down to like you know who's going to be the number three, four. Uh, seat or number four, uh, fourth place, fourth or fifth place, basically more than anything else, uh, and then of course you know then we have um, uh, oh what's his name uh, the Canadian from Williams I forgot his name now he left and of course now he's been replaced by Logan Sargent uh, an American <laughs> it's been a while since there's an American that's been with F F Formula One so this is going to be interesting to see especially the fact that when he's going to come when the uh, and the other factors let's not forget with Formula One another uh, last year was Miami, so we had Austin and Miami, which is great, and now another venue has been added, which is Las Vegas, which is going to be interesting in and of itself, too. Eventually, once eventually it gets to New York, it'll be interesting to see how that works from that perspective, but in any case, it's going to be interesting to see like how this, how this works out. And with that, uh, I am drinking beer because NASCAR likes to drink beer. I figured, you know, let's bring, bring beer to Formula One, even though it's more refined and classy, you know, you drink like, you know, spirits or wine. Or champagne for that matter but I'm like yeah whatever um, so the question comes down to is will Max Verstappen um, be getting his third world championship or will uh, will uh, Lewis Hamilton get his eighth what record-breaking eighth world champion um, give me one second sorry was where, where was I oh yeah uh, Hamilton will he get his a record breaking eighth world championship? Um, it's hard to say. I mean, or could this be Leclerc's first world championship? I mean, it depends on how Ferrari does. Uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see. I mean, honestly, you got the team of Red Bull, which is basically Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. Ferrari's got Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Um, Mercedes with Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. Um, Alpine has got Esther, uh, Ocon and Gasly. McLaren's got Norris and Piastri, as I mentioned. Um, Alfa Romeo, yeah, they're going to be on the bottom of the pack always, with ba Bottas and uh, Zal Ganyu. And Aston Martin, Lance Stroll and Fernando Alonso, it, it's hard to determine how that was going to work out. Haas, Kevin Magnussen is there still. And, of course, Nico's back now, which is interesting. Uh, it kind of sucks for Mick, but you know what? Maybe Mick Schumacher might be able to pick it up with Mercedes. If Hamilton leaves, maybe Mick goes into Mercedes, I don't know, or to with, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure who. Uh, and then, of course, you got AlphaTauri with his, you know, Sonoda, Yuki Sonoda is still back, which is a surprise. But, I mean, he, he had some he had some brilliance here and there. But the question is, will AlphaTauri be in the top tier? No, it's always going to be in the lower end tier more than anything else. And Nick DeVries as well, too. 
and then you got Williams. Now they're looking to come back up there again, but it's, it's going to be a while for them to get up there uh, because you got Alex Albon, Albon, which honestly he he shown some brilliance of like his perform, you know, his skill sets, but then he did regress back towards the end of it as well too. And then you got the new guy, uh, Logan Sargent. So um, the one big thing is though is that's coming out is. You know, uh, the fact that Benatti is no longer there with Ferrari. Um, the whole thing is, is, last year everyone thought the reason why Ferrari... Sh Ferrari probably should have won the Constructors at least. Um, whether Leclerc could have won or not, it's hard to say. But they had the cars. Uh, they had the cars. And the question is, is it was the strategy. That's what it came down to. There was a few goof-up, quite a few goof-ups here and there with the strategy, which made no sense. Which cost them, like, I guess the World... Definitely the World Constructors Cup, for sure. Um... What it cost Leclerc, it's it's hard to say at this point right now, honestly, because Leclerc is a little erratic every now and then too. Uh, honestly, if he comes out of the gate winning or at least staying in second place for the first four races, I think he might have a shot then. Um, same thing with Max. Um, now the question comes down to with Lewis Hamilton, uh, how well can he, you know, how well can he do? I mean, he isn't on, on his last year of his contract. I think the contract's going to be out there for him to basically come back again if he wants to. But being the fact that um, um, being the fact that he's not that young anymore, and the question is, does he have that drive? I mean, he has tied Schumacher, um, Michael Schumacher, uh, in in the world title or, or, or you know world championships uh, championships, but. Everything else he's already been the rec you know has the record on. Uh, the only thing is is like does he need to increase it by more because and beat you Mark but get more because the thing is Max. He's a fairly young dude and I don't see Red Bull going down. And honestly, if unless Red Bull seriously has some serious financial issues or something like that or some nature, I think they're going to be around for quite a while. Uh, and Max might win might might break. Schumacher's a record and even and or Hamilton's depending on how Hamilton does this year and if he goes on to next year and so forth um, but yeah I would say Max Verstappen has a shot of beating the record basically honestly uh, based on how he's driving nowadays uh, if so long as the car is good and fast for him then he should be good honestly I, I want to say this might be Max's third year of getting the uh, championship but my gut's telling me, my gut is telling me that it might be Leclerc this time. Oh, no, not Leclerc, sorry. Um, it might be Hamilton. It might be Hamilton. It's going to come down to those two, I think. But that depends on the first two races. If Hamilton come out, can come in first or second on the first two races, then I think he's going to win it all then at that point because that, that shows that Mercedes is back. Now, granted, Monaco, he may or may not do it, but at the other races, he might. Las Vegas being a new track, it's going to be interesting to see in that aspect. Uh, but again, like I said, uh, Hamilton could win it if in these next two first two races, uh, if my correct, let me look at the schedule for a second, uh, where he's going at Bahrain, and then of course, uh, yeah, Bahrain is one, and then Saudi Arabia is number two, uh, and then at that point, Australia is you know the third you know um, the third round. Uh, if he comes out in Bahrain, wins Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, and then does second in Australia, he's then he's definitely back in it, and Mercedes is back. Uh, put it bluntly, um, it'll be interesting to see what happens in, in Miami. It was round five. I would love to go to Miami's, but it's pretty expensive. Austin at least was a little cheaper. Miami, I think, because it was the first time it was expensive. I was thinking of going to Las Vegas, but the fact that I think because what Miami was, Las Vegas is umpteenth more. It's probably going to be more expensive at that point as well, too. Quite honest. I mean, if it if it's good, if it's cheap enough for me, then yeah, I probably would go to Las Vegas at that point too. But honestly, I'm not sure. But with that, um, that that's just my quick uh, talk about it, basically. Um, honestly, I'm going to try to leave it under uh, in under twelve minutes for, for my talk. So about this or my rant uh, or discussion about this. Um, let me know your thoughts. Who do you think is going to win the? 2023 F4, you know, Formula One grid. Um, do you think, uh, first, as far as drivers are concerned, and then World Constructors? World Constructors, I think for sure it's going to be Red Bull. Um, uh, but as far as driver championship, I think it might be Lewis Hamilton at this point. 
uh, depending on how it goes. But if all, all, if all else, if it's not Hamilton, then I'll go to Max Verstappen for sure, and we'll see a third, you know, a, a, him winning three in a row basically at that point. Maybe five in a row for that matter too, because if he wins this one, the next two are pretty much almost guaranteed in his place at that point as well, too, unless F1 decides to change more rules to make it more fair for everyone at that point as well too. But in any case... I'll leave it at that, but let, let, let me know your thoughts again, and please uh, leave your uh, thoughts in the comment sections, any questions or such, I will answer them, I do read my comments, I say, and I will respond to them, um, and as well as to the point where I was like, if this is your first time coming, or if, if you if second or third time or more than once, I mean, I do ask that you subscribe, it would be great if you can subscribe, um, and with that, I'll leave it at that, unfiltered, unedited, and unrehearsed, until next time.